Well, that's something I don't see too often is a, a guy working his horse. Going through the paces. Well, this is where I'm at. I just started my ride, so uh, he's taking them in back to the back part of the fence. Pretty horse. Very seldom have I ever seen anybody riding horses. I see people with them, but not necessarily doing like he's doing. Well, he disappeared. Oh, there he is. All right, he's coming right over to me. What kind of horse is that? What kind of horse is that? Huh? What kind of horse is it? It is a quarter horse. Quarter horse. Yeah. Well, he's pretty. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Well, how about that? He came right up to me. He didn't say, don't film me or nothing. <laughs> All right, I got to get on to my ride. Well, I was here the other day when they was doing this. They actually dug out the dirt. So there was a lot of green grass right where you see that asphalt that was that thick across there so that's going to give them more room for cars to park pretty sure that was their intent i'm just guessing but i'm pretty sure that's their intent All right, I thought I'd videotape that while I had a chance. <laughs> I hadn't made a video in a couple of days, but uh, th that comment I made about time, is, it's so hard to explain. Um, I won't even try. <laughs> I won't even try. I'll just post uh, videos that des describes what uh, scientifically and what uh, factually can be proven about uh, the time continuum that we seem to be stuck on or stuck in or I don't know how you say it but when you're uh, when you're stuck in a loop and you start recognizing it then that's a good thing but when you're actually stuck in time continuum and you are awake are waking in then it doesn't make you uh, free from what people see or do or what they call cause and effect but it actually allows you to realize that you're creating your reality with your thinking so the only thing that has ever caused you any grief is your own thinking Sure, it seems like there's a, a whole world out there that can either be uh, uh, against you or for you. But when you start seeing that it's all working for your good, even the things that seem to be the most horriblest things that could happen to a person is actually sometimes works out, well not sometimes, but most all time works out to be the best thing that could ever happen. I seen a guy on Casey's video that lost a, a hand and a, and a leg to a shark. And he, uh, he was a very uh, 
interesting person to say the least about how he put that off. In other words, he didn't let it destroy his life. He, he made something out of bad to be something good for himself and for other people that he can motivate. So I sent him a message. I told him he was going to help a, help a lot of people and that his YouTube channel was going to blow up and make within years. I mean, he ain't going to blow up overnight, but within a few years, three years, five years, he'll be making a, a, a decent income off of that. If things stay the way they're going, we never know what's going to happen with YouTube and Google. Um, the way they do the, they're catering to these big YouTubers right now. But uh, a YouTube channel will grow if you have good content. If you got what people want to see and, and well, it, if it's your passion, like me making these little videos, it's some days I don't make them. And then some days I make them. I want to make them. I feel to make them. How creative can I be with it? Well, I'm starting to kind of test. I, I'm, I'm from the Casey Nastad school. Make it simple, quick and easy. But he makes so many edits and so much uh, B-roll footage that it's incredible. Uh, I ain't quite figured out a way to do that comfortably where it doesn't uh, interfere with what I'm doing on a daily basis. All right, I'm gonna let it go. Hey everybody, this is Buddy. It looks like he sheared his alpacas. These are alpacas. And I'm pretty sure he told me that he had paper on them. That he knew these were alpacas, not llamas. So Buddy is a llama. And these dogs never bark if you're just riding by. But if you stop, they will... They will... <laughs> Start barking. Look at that one. Ain't that cute? They got pretty faces, but look how long their necks are. He's got some pretty chickens, too. There that rooster is coming out behind that tree. That is a pretty rooster. Gorgeous. Alright, I thought I'd show you an alpaca. <laughs>